Hey everyone, my name is Elias Rubin, and this video is sponsored by The Lack of My Dignity. That worked out perfectly. Wow. This is a thing. So today I want to talk to you all about a very special subject that I think that most people my age and possibly a little bit older and a little bit younger can relate to, and that is the feeling of being alone. Romantically. To quote a line from the show The Maids by some French guy, I am alone and friendless. Today I'm going to be talking to you about <clears throat> how to not do that. We are in a, uh, a season, it is called winter, but within winter there is something else and that is called cuffing season. For those of you that don't know, cuffing season takes place during the winter time and it is more or less when you as a human being want the company of another human being, but only during the winter time. It's like during the end of fall you like find someone and you're like, come on now, and uh, you stake your claim and uh, then you're together for winter and possibly later. So um, I'm going to give you some tips as to uh, how to get cuffing. One, wear lots of really nice smelling stuff. This could be deodorant or perfume or cologne. By smelling nice, you're letting other people know that, hey, I am a clean person and that's why you should date me. Number two, you should eat lots of chocolatey and minty foods. As we all know, in the winter time, hot chocolate and peppermint are lots of things that people will be drinking. So by covering the interior of your mouth with these objects, then you are letting them know, hey, I care about winter. Do you care about winter? Let's go drink some peppermint hot chocolate together and then make a baby. Number this one, when you are sad and you are lonely, one of the things that you should do is cry. And what better thing to do with there than to cry with someone else? Because nothing says love like tears falling from four eyes. Number four, when you're sad, you'll have someone to be able to like, talk to. Five, while you're Netflix and chilling, you have someone to Netflix and chill with. Six, Netflix and chill while watching that one holiday movie that everyone likes that I'm blanking on the name of. Because it's acceptable, because it's winter. Oh my god, what is it called? Um, um, uh, um, um, oh my god, what is that movie called? Um, um, uh, shit. Hold on. Holiday movie. Love Actually, what the f*** is wrong with me? Love Actually, watch Love Actually and then have sex. Number six, when you're cuffing, make sure that you uh, go out on the prowl and like go to places where other singles might be. For example, the bars, the park, the bathroom at your local Denny's. That's where I found my last significant other. It was a grand slam! Ah! Number seven, while cuffing, make sure to roll your sleeves up. <laughs> Cuff your... Sleeves. Ah! Uh, number eight. When you want to find someone to, you know, do some things with, like go on walks and like experience the wonders of winter with, make sure that you wear a coat because it's really cold outside. And although you might want to find the love of your life, you might want to not do it while freezing your ass off. And finally, number nine. Make sure that when you're cuffing, be honest with your partner and tell them that this isn't going to be a long-term thing and that by around late February or early March when the climate starts to warm up again, you're going to say, sayonara, sucker, and go find that person with a hot beach bod you actually want. Alright, well, this has been my tips as to how to cuff. I wouldn't use any of them. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I love you all, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, never forget about who your one true love is. It's that slice of cake that's sitting in the back of your fridge that you keep telling yourself, I'm going to wait for a special occasion, but we all know that that special occasion is never going to come, so just eat it because we are all going to die alone anyways. Alright, well, I love you all. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye!